Okay, so welcome back. In this video, I will be teaching you about the loop instruction. So, the loop instruction basically performs a loop operation wherein it uses ECX or the CX register as a counter. Okay, so each time the loop instruction is executed, then the count register or ECX will be decremented. Okay, so it will then check whether ECX is already zero. Okay. So if ECX is 0, then it will just terminate the program and continue with the next instructions. But if ECX is not equal to 0, then it will jump again to the provided target. Okay? So there are four variations of the loop instruction. So you have loop E, loop Z, loop NE, and loop NZ. So loop E and loop Z are the same and they are triggered when ECX is not equal to 0 and ZF is equal to 1 or the 0 flag is equal to 1. Okay? Loop NE and loop NZ are also the same and they are triggered if ECX is not equal to 0 and the ZF flag is equal to 0. Okay? So this is the loop instruction and I hope to see you again next time.